in the worst hours of concern over the potential Greek default and Greeks at last weekend, groups of prominent Turkish and Greek businessmen gathered on the Greek island of Rhodes to brainstorm ways to further boost their annual $5.5 billion trade. The field trip was organized by the Office for Commercial and Economic Affairs of the Embassy of Greece in Ankara and the General Consulate of Greece in Zemir. The visiting delegation comprised of diplomats, mostly deputy heads of mission and economic councillors in Ankara and Zemir from 22 countries from the EU and the Americas. The delegation also had over 20 prominent Turkish businessmen from a wide range of sectors including tourism, real estate, construction, energy, food, and beverages, and health. All this is about creating multiple commercial synergies, said Lambis Kaunalakis, the head of the Greek Commercial and Economic Affairs. Greece's Consul General in Zemir, Theodore Tsakaris, said the field trip would doubtless help fulfill a common goal for further flourishing trade and investment opportunities in both Aegean neighbours. This was a good first step for more profound business and investment cooperation, he said. Both Greek officials believe that government-initiated business-to-business meetings would reinforce the already existing solid trade bridge across the Aegean. For instance, they cited three previous workshops in Ankara and Zemir successfully boosted cooperation in tourism industry. This year over 1 million Turkish tourists are expected to visit Greece, a substantial rise from only 161,000 tourists in 2007. They say other potentially prosperous fields for Turkish-Greek business are real estate and construction. Some of the hosting participants at the Rhodes meeting included the governor for South Aegean region, George Hatsimarcos, the vice governor of South Aegean region, Giannis Flferis, the vice governor responsible for tourism promotion, Marietta Papavasilio, the deputy mayors of Rhodes, Left Aris Hatsianau and Giannis Kekoulis, and the head of the Hotel Owners Association of the Dodecanese, Antonios Kampurekis. The Turkish and Greek businessmen and investors held day-long business-to-business meetings on June 27. Greek officials and businessmen insist that despite the punishing economic crisis in Greece, business cooperation presents important advantages to Turkish businessmen such as easy access to the EU market, a highly specialized labor force, low-cost human resources, solid infrastructure, rule of law, strategic geopolitical position, and common cultural features. The Rhodes Gathering came as a complementary event after Turkey and Greece had a joint business forum in Zemir last November which brought together Turkish Economy Minister Nihat Zibesai and his then Greek counterpart, Development Minister Nikos Dentias. That event was co-organized by Turkey's Foreign Economic Relations Council, DEIK, the Greek Embassy in Ankara, and the Union of Hellenic Chambers of Commerce and Industry. Before that, in 2013, the Greek Embassy in Ankara organized the Business Fora to promote investment opportunities mainly in tourism, renewable energy sources, construction, and food and beverages. As part of the event, Ambassador Kyriakos Laukakis and Kaunalakis brought together hundreds of businessmen in four Turkish cities, Zemir, Kayseri, Diyarbakir and Trabzon. In the crisis year 2012, Direct Greek capital outflows into Turkey accounted for a stunning 56% of all Greek direct investment abroad. That ratio was only 1% in 2008, just four years earlier.